Okay, so as a little disclosure, right before we went to start recording the podcast, Roblox completely went down, so we started going on a random tangent and playing random games, uh, and then we ended up settling on Fireboy and Watergirl. So this entire podcast is going to be overlay with Spezzy and Tyler playing that game, so enjoy the random content. I am recording. Bro, we're not starting! Come Fine, on! Fine, gosh! <laughs> no, go ahead. You know what? No, I'm fine. I'm... I'm just gonna walk away slowly now. That's fine. That's <laughs> well, fine. welcome to the Back Map Podcast. Today, I'm joined by Country, <laughs> who's walking away as we speak. Uh, Tyler, say hi, Tyler. Hello. And uh, Spazy, say, say hello, Spazy. Hey. Uh, so this week okay. we're gonna have a little, a little walk away from um, the. Roblox well, maybe not. Oopsie. I was gonna say we're gonna walk away from the staff team, but you, Spazy has been on the staff team. I mean, he walked away from the <laughs> staff team, so I mean that does count. <laughs> um, do you guys want to introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about what you do in the community and uh, how you got to this point, like uh, playing this game? What are your achievements? Uh, Tyler, you want to go for? I was waiting for you. Were you man? You were so good. <laughs> No, you want to myself? No, no, okay. Um, I'm Spezzy. I've been I've been staff since uh, July of 2020. I I, I was 14. <laughs> take that, take that as oh, you will. You can and, do anything uh, in life. Grab... Yeah. Um, and I was first hired as a Discord mod. Uh, tried to get away from that as soon as possible. It took me like 15 <laughs> months. And then uh, and uh, then I switched to game staff. And then. After being game staff for a little bit, I decided to just leave staff. I wasn't wasn't really happy. So now I feel like I function as a kind of unofficial community speaker. I'm kind of just around everywhere. I do shit. Um, People talk about you nice all the time, man. Mm-hmm. Better restart now. Wait. No, sorry. I got to do something real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, oh that's right. fine. Dude. All right, Tyler's turn. <laughs> um, I'm Tyler. I'm just a normal community member. No bells or jangles over it. I've really? <laughs> been around in the community for three or four years now. The first few years we don't talk about, they're excluded. But since then, during late of 2022, I started to get involved a bit with Game Balance with Willow. Then that kind of fell through. But I had a, like an interest sparked from there. Okay. And then at the end of 2023... I started helping with the Spezzy sheet, and also there was an opportunity where I could start putting some of my ideas into the game, which happened and started snowballing into PDW and some recent changes that have been followed through with contributors. Yeah, guys, the PDW update, it's this guy. <laughs> it's this man right here. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> nah, I... He's trying to when, shift when... blame. When did you guys start playing, by the way? Start playing the game? When, when did you find it out and like, uh, what drew you to it? I first started playing the game back in like 2016 or 2017. When the SVU got moved back to DMR, I checked it and I had some old loadouts there saved before I got moved over to Sniper. <laughs> um, however, I kind of stopped playing the game for like four or five years and only really came back to it in 2022-ish. It seems to be the case for every PS yeah right I, I feel like everyone does that i, I left like, for a bit and then came back and now i haven't stopped i left for a few years <laughs> happens all right now we gotta wait for spezzy uh, i'm back uh i oh, started wow. playing oh hi i started playing around in the alpha so i want to say around 2014 but mm-hmm. um, okay. i really only started getting active in the community around 2018 2020 ish and that's kind of where i started making all, all of the stuff that I did. That's when I got hired. I was, I think I really started picking up in 2019, actually, like late 2019. And then I got hired 2020 and I've just kind of been around ever since. So he's breaking the mold. He didn't have a two or three year gap in there. <laughs> <laughs> he's the one player who, who's the exception to the rule. <laughs> he's yeah, I, mean, I mean, my engagement with the game is kind of phased in and out. But um, yeah, I've I've always I've always kind of just been here for a little bit. All right. Well, because you walked away earlier, country, and I had to do the intro. You want to ask the 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 first questions we planned out? Were you talking to me? 
Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I just did that, so I didn't have to do the intro. So you fell for that one pretty easily. Um, God damn it. <laughs> all right. We'll start it off with something fun. What is, so what's something you guys would want in the game or just really do want, but you don't think will ever be added? And you can explain reasoning why you think it'll be added or you don't have to. Just what's something you guys want, but you don't think will ever be added to the game? That's such a good question. Too many things. Dude. Um, in terms of like weapons, I guess. It could uh, be whatever the heck you want. Uh, I really want uh, the APS underwater rifle. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> oh, the one like the one that shoots like uh, giant mod? dart. Yeah. yeah. The bullets are super long. Uh, it would suck because it's not meant to be fired above ground. But I, I wonder what so bad ballistics on yeah. it in air. Mediocre at best. <laughs> I mean, with all the new PDW changes, it you can make stats for it that probably wouldn't be too far off. You could have like a low velocity, like horrible bullet tumble. It could like, honestly really be the damage. harpoon, like the, the yeah, harpoon honestly. performance, just less damage. What about what about you, Tyler? What would you like to see in the game that's never going to be added? I've been wanting this for a long, long time. You know how most games that stand the test of time always have a like community server browser. Mm -hmm. Yes. Imagine if someone could just import their own map into the game and do it with like all their custom settings and anyone could join it available. That would be incredible. That would yeah. how would the devs the gain spam. how would the devs gain money from that? <laughs> from uh, premium player retention. Because if people with premium play your game, they get a, a portion of the premium payout. Oh. If you didn't know. It's a, it's a small amount, but it's enough to keep it's services so running. What what would you like to see, country? <laughs> I feel like that's a pretty interesting question. Ah, uh, honest, I don't know. I don't really think about that much. I just try and have fun with what there is. I'd like to see way <laughs> less complaining about random BS. People stop <laughs> crying about all kinds of random things. That'd be nice. That's I'd like to though. see uh, the PDWs removed. <laughs> <laughs> that perfectly uh, segues. You you agree, Tyler? No, I said I add on to my previous point. Yeah, go for it. Imagine you're like in the server browser and then you see like uh phantom forces parkour lobby you join it it's like, just like oh, a little bro. parkour course play with your friends like gravity set to low it's a custom map that you've never seen before that'd be so cool i'm um, let me see your next one like a hide and seek lobby It'd just be like little fun things to do that'd be you really want to cool. know what would be cool with that type and then of... when you want to play PF, you go to the official servers go get your 100 kilometer or whatever yeah that that type of nice. interaction with the community like making custom servers like that would be actually pretty cool it would i think it would rejuvenate like uh the map the map creation like uh oh yeah definitely the community because yeah. then map creators would at least have a place where if they make a map the map can be used it's not like oh i made a map and it's never going to be put in the game it's mm. sentenced to the archive pool nah even or even the archive for fucking life yeah <laughs> swear to god the amount of maps that were in there that's not in there anymore that community server browser is one of the best ideas I've heard yet. <laughs> it's unironically, that'd be really good. Okay, I have so a good have one. the Weapon Labs framework, it would also be feasible now, probably. I have a really good, good one. When you're in spectator mode, I want a list of the players and you to be able to click on their names to lock onto them without having to, to like find them, find them in the map. That's pretty good. That I'm sure really nice. that's never going to be added because there's no priority for it. See, but, like, it wouldn't. It would basically just be taking the squad deploy framework for spectating and putting it in this free cam. Because <laughs> I mean, squad deploy, you're clicking on people's names, and it's just sh it's spectating their back. It's pretty much. I feel like that'd be pretty swappable. Again, I think it comes back to like just not being a priority. I I don't think they're just. I don't know. Maybe I'm just totally wrong. All right, see you in like three years when that's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. All your, right. Your statement about the PDWs actually segues pretty well, Tyler. This this question applies pretty well to you. <laughs> what went wrong? <laughs> <laughs> what went wrong with the PDWs that that became a thing? Um, it's all a lot of things stemming together with. Before the PW update, we'd branched off a pretty slow and boring 2023. There was like, what, one update adding the stoner, 5 -0. That was literally it. We'll be going 2023. Oh, the fuck was in It was also off the back of Willow nerfing everything in 2022. So to put it simply, everyone was bored of the game. They wanted a big shift, and they wanted buffs. Ah. So. 
They got a big shift and a lot of buffs. They got a big shift and they got their buffs. They got the AK-107, huh? The 107 wasn't anything to do with us. That was a contributor who was trying to help during 2023. I'm going to be a bit biased here. They didn't do their job very well. I'm not, I'm not going to name names, but if you know who, you know who. Um, They changed the 105 recoil, and that subsequently affected the 107. That oh, was the... never meant to get in. Oh, but it okay. got in by accident because Lito was like YOLO. Ah, uh, see ya. Did the did the push for that kind of balance change? Like, um, how did it affect the community? Um, how some was, people were happy. Some people laughed. Some people cried. Like overall, <laughs> I, I know some people are going to be be mad and some happy. That's always the case. <laughs> well, the player count is still at. Higher than it was during 2023, so I'll leave it as that. Yeah, that's fair. No, oh, well, so it was positive. Yeah, overall. At least Keep in mind that attention. negative voices will always be louder than positive voices. That so sometimes true. you got to sway out the negativity, yeah, as, as it doesn't usually reflect the masses. Country. What? <laughs> How are you drinking? Yeah. Did you uh, hear that? No, but I heard. <laughs> oh, okay. My bad. Uh, you asked the next question. Oh, go on. Um. Okay. So both of you. Both of you help a lot, and both of you are a lot of the reason um, the game is at where it's at, and people can enjoy the game like they enjoy the game. What is the uh, what's the thing you guys are at least most proud of uh, that you've helped with, or you think has benefited the game the most? An easy I answer think, for me. Yeah, I yeah. I think he's got, got a pretty easy that. answer. <laughs> <laughs> Probably that. That was a big, that was a big kind of joint project that I worked on. That was around when I got hired. It might have been a little bit before. I think. I think you said it was I really about started right before. Yeah, I I think it was around June, maybe, 2020, that I started working on it. Uh, actually, first started working on it because a friend asked me to <laughs> to make one. They're like, I'm tired of DMing you to, to see what's going on every gun. Can you just make like a Google Sheet with everything? And I'm like, sure. So that happened, and then it kind of just exploded into this big thing and ended up getting shared around Stylus a lot more. Mm -hmm. uh, I posted it in the public chats, and I, I don't know. I guess I guess it just kind of got popular. Yeah, now you're the mm. most known Google Doc in the entirety of <laughs> fan forces, dude. There's yeah, there's always thirty people on it at any point. Let me check right now. Actually, you don't see Google Docs hitting the viewer limit that often. Yeah, yeah. And the the HTML limit. There's over a hundred people, and it goes into this horrible low data mode, and everything looks horrible. But whatever. Spezies loadout. All right, there we go. How many people are on there? There are currently 51 people, 56. On 7.43 p.m. Eastern Time on a Thursday. Yeah. Not even peak hours, huh? Well, I feel I feel like your, 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 your loadout sheet is massive in the community. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, I need Tyler to answer the question that Country asked first before I ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> What's your proudest achievement, Tyler? Hey Lito, what does the Orge two seven six do? Only have twenty bullets. Uh, yeah, that was no, uh, you. He is he's very evil. So <laughs> he just fed he fed Lito a bunch of crazy ideas on the stream, and that's what led to a lot of the big talent changes in the PDW and the January update. Honestly, oh, like going back to the beginning, Tyler, you have like no affiliation with Stylus whatsoever. No. You never worked I'm actually for banned them. from the main server. You never, you're banned from the main server. Yep. <laughs> huh. And you gaslit the dead. No, 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 no. He's just impressionable. <laughs> That's it. I gave valid reasons and arguments why. Oh. I presented them with facts, logic, and wiki sources, and it worked out yeah. well. Yep. Oh my god. Well, so the AUG A2 is your proudest achievement. Um, I guess my proudest would be, you know how the M60 is a three kilo range. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, he, he did that. <laughs> Dude, every single second you talk, there I is there's god. zero regret in his voice too. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. The fact on the weapon sandbox is irreversible. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> there's gonna be wow. there's, there's gonna be so many people like it was him. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess like I say that one of my biggest achievements is um having this long long lasting effect on the game's balance that will never be forgotten. Fair. <laughs> Even though you're banned. Yeah, <laughs> I was banned years ago for reasons. 
<laughs> Redacted. <laughs> uh, let me see if Country put that question in the list first. He didn't. All right. Yay. Spicy, I wanted to ask you this question. How do you go about making entries for your, like, spreadsheet? How? What's the process like? Probably making loadouts? Yeah. <laughs> You'd be right, a lot of typing. <laughs> but, um, oh, so... Uh, I usually just test stuff in game. Sometimes I go off of advanced stats numbers because you read the advanced stats, mm -hmm. see like what kind of recoil a gun has, like what attachments are doing towards that kind of recoil. Some of them aren't adequately tested, I would say, but most of them are. Okay. I okay. think um, a, a lot of a lot of it too is like word of mouth and people showing me loadouts that I didn't know of. Like for mm -hmm. example. Recently, uh, the micro Uzi, I featured that. That was gun of the week recently. And that a very old loadout that I hadn't updated for a long time because that gun has not been changed for a while. Yeah. But um, I watched the most recent Strider video about like some sleeper weapons that you should start using. And uh, this number one spot, he had the micro Uzi. And I was like, oh, it actually looks pretty good on his, uh, <laughs> on his video. I'll go try it. And I did. And I thought it was really good. Yeah, he was so, talking about that when he saw that show up as gun of the week. Yeah. So, um, a lot of it is mostly input from other community members, but we also find a lot of them ourselves, like me and everyone that's working on the sheet, Tyler and uh, Coda right now, I think. Okay. Yeah. I, I often look at uh, builds for ARs, because uh, I, I only play snipers, so I don't really need a build. Can you twist um, one? But how do you decide between, like lasers for example because they have such minimal effect on guns except for yellow lasers on certain guns but like between blue and green laser how do you decide because like it feels really random to me um the, the lasers are like honestly it's very very kind of minimal change between all of them so you can you can honestly run whatever color you like the best but um mm. green laser is focused on like rotational recoil which is great and the blue laser is focused on camera recoil. So okay. you basically just get to choose which one you want to do a slight reduction of. I think it's 5% uh, for the rotational and 3% for the camera. So really, so, it's not going to be that noticeable. But so the everyone... lasers are really going. Sorry, I'm talking too much. No, you're not talking oh, you're too not, much. No, man. You're fine. People want to hear you talk. <laughs> They're not here for us. They're here for you two. This uh, is the moment to speak Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah basically the differences are pretty minimal but they're still nice to have i mean if you're gonna run a laser if you want to like optimize it i guess then i guess you should use the one that's tailored for weapons recoil the most yeah. like mm. something that's a lot of camera recoil when you use blue blah 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 but um really like we don't really test the lasers too much honestly because there's almost no discernible visual difference like, there's a small difference on some guns with uh, specific types of recoil, but for almost every gun, it's going to be it's going to be pretty much uh, you need whatever. Okay. Hmm. Percy, what are you doing? I'm, I'm <laughs> trying so hard to align this. Is this going to be in the video? Oh, yeah. Okay, no, it's going to be really funny. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. Go, for those who don't know, all right, all right. We've been recording for what, like 19 minutes now? For those who don't know, Roblox was down, so we well, couldn't get in and like, set up our shit. We've been recording for an hour and, and a half. So that, a we, we, couldn't, we couldn't get, it, get in and set up our stuff, so we just gave up, and now we're too lazy to do it, even though it's back up. So yeah. uh, You know, no one would have known at, that it was back up until just <laughs> so... Yeah, well, you can, you, can, you can censor it. You can put a big-ass bleep, and now they, now they won't... They won't know what we're talking about now. Yeah, until they get this context <laughs> afterward. Because I'm just not going to cut this out. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, God. Country. What? The first question you have for Tyler on that list is kind of funny. Oh, How about you ask it? I want to that... hear his response to it. <laughs> All right, Tyler. So, as a, as a resident of the band club of Stylus uh, <laughs> Studios... Do you think you'd be able to do more as staff, or do you do you feel the position you're in is currently better? Uh, I think things would be more streamlined if I was actually officially staffed. But do you want to sell your soul as a Discord mod? 
<laughs> I honestly don't mind being where I am. I just like trying on, on the outskirts doing my own thing. Yeah, I'm like a wise old man that they come to. <laughs> <laughs> what What do you do? Yes. Like, what kind of impact do you have on the community? Because uh, you're obviously not in the stylus server. Recently, Darkman Bree became the new unofficial balance changer, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It would in the past like few weeks or so, he's been coming to me a lot heavily for feedback and stuff. Oh. As just like a general, like, hey, what do you think about this? How can it be improved for Suede? Stuff like that. That's actually kind of cool. It's <laughs> yeah. a much more well, direct answer than you anticipated, isn't it? Ha- like, why, how has it come to be like that? Like, uh, All right, are so you guys like... If it's balanced poorly, you know who to blame. Are you guys good friends? Are you like the number one player in the game? Or No, nah, he only really got to know, like, know me at the start of the year, I guess. Interesting. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because of all the shit you've caused. <laughs> what enough? You know, he just um randomly I noticed him. You joined my server, and uh, ever since they've been, just been talking. He joined oh, wow. my he joined your server because I was speaking to him in DMs about it and convinced him to join after a lot of convincing. Oh, I didn't know. That. I didn't know that. He was worried he was going to get mocked there, but I convinced him that you keep a firm iron grip over moderation. <laughs> Yeah, very, very yeah. firm iron grip. <laughs> Discord mod extraordinary. <laughs> Prestiged. But yeah, right. no, the server is a chill place. The, the, what did you say? The server is a chill place. I'm okay, yeah. sorry. So the title saying incoherent Spanish rambling. <laughs> it was like starts randomly insulting me in the public channels. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you asked me weird stuff in DMs. Bro, you're so bad. I don't ask anything in DMs. <laughs> it's your uh... full DM logs. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm trying to fucking read these questions, but you guys are talking in the background and I have ADG. I can focus on both. <laughs> <laughs> swear to God. There's a nice little deafen button you could hit for five seconds. <laughs> no, that's it. That's uh, that's disrespectful. They're not going to know. They're playing Fireboy and Water Shut Girl. Up. I'm trying to read the questions. This shit's serious. <laughs> Just we gotta get to them in the light temple. They gotta get A, okay? They're more worried about that. We were one second off. Ah, there we go. That's a good one. <gasps> it took. It only took me 45 seconds to read that one sentence. <laughs> uh, what? So, the game... People like to say that the game isn't in a really great state right now. Um, what do you think they mean by that? And what do you think would be the first steps we could take towards trying to make it better? No FP90. <laughs> yep, okay. Um, Next question. Yep. question. Yep. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go ahead, Spacey. Uh, SVDS2. Not really like that gun. It's really fun. But uh, I think I think really uh, one of the biggest problems is that we don't really have a community manager. So it's kind of just wow. up in the air right now. Like, the, what's getting changed? What's the future of the game? Blah, blah, blah. How are we still getting a beat? Um, Visual slow. <laughs> I mean, sorry. Um, <laughs> We don't really have anyone looking over like the future of the game right now or content because mm-hmm. changes are just kind of happening and no one's logging them. So that we are. that you job want... is kind of on us. You so... want to know something funny, Spazzy? Yeah. That's actually something I've re- recommended multiple times and the staff at Stylus really don't see the purpose behind that. You know, a community manager would be amazing. Just like someone would be like, hey, this is what's going on. Because like we have... Like monthly transparency reports from the admins and like the announcements channel. Well, those that's mean. only really, yeah, <laughs> honestly. Like, but those are only really, those are only really showing like moderations and support tickets and Discord Steel tickets and, and court, blah, 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 blah. But, um, what? Yeah, no, no, I just think we need someone to like come forth and be like, hey, this is what's going to be happening in the game. This is the future. We need we know a way better roadmap, and I think we need a way better communication. Mm. I think, like, was it with uh, Vanguard that I proposed, like the the like event yeah. things, the community events? Yeah. I I we were on the podcast with Vanguard and Blasteroid. Was mm. it? No. Yes. Uh, I proposed that we should have like monthly events where like we just ping everyone in the dis- Discord server and like gather in, a, in like the mega server like the 100 player server and start playing like 
stupid shit there. First person to find a map bug gets ten thousand credits. <laughs> ten thousand credits solve all the yeah, problems no. in the game. But I think, I think like just getting a greater sense of community, because like the the um, commu- communication between everyone in the community is kind of oh. bad, you know. <laughs> yeah. We can't talk to the devs and uh, uh, the everyone's just doing their own stuff without anyone knowing about it. That's mm-hmm. pretty much what what you said. I know part of why the communication is bad. The devs are focusing most of their resources and time on core, but I mean we have some really like right Sid, So I it, I personally want to see more kind of communication and stuff from Sid. Like I I want to I want to hear more changes. I want to. We already played this level. This is that's in the first the, game. That's the first time I hear that name, by the way. Yeah, uh, Sid, like, contractor that was brought on. Um, big, like, conspiracy. I don't know if they're a real person, but... <laughs> they are. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. It's the AI taking over. Could I uh, go back yeah, a point honestly. real quick? Yeah, go you, for it. You need to do something, Tyler? Back when Spezzy mentioned oh. that in recent times, like, the update log's been left to us. Mm-hmm. Mm. For the whole of this year, the PDW, the one after that, New Year's, and all the little things in between, like just spreading like knowledge to the community, that's somehow been placed on us as there's like no actual like real link internally for that stuff now. I think you just showed you made the mistake of like proving that you're capable yeah. of it and showing initiative. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, banned people are doing all the work. And yeah. also, it's because they uh, quite liked the format of how we started doing them, of like the circles and stuff to show buffs on maps. Yeah, that was mm. nice. That was really nice yeah. to scroll through and be able to see. It's it's yeah. still very very inf- information yeah. dense, but at least now you can look at a glance at things and see like what's changed in general. Yeah. So it's just funny to think about the fact that for the past like half a year, a band and ex staff have been doing all the <laughs> update logs for the games. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Hey man, if the circumstances were better, I'd, gl- I'd gladly still be on staff. <laughs> uh, you, Tyler, do you have any uh, opinions on how the game could uh, be better? Get better or something? Uh, what was the question? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Honestly, the core game itself right now is probably in one of, if not the best states it's been in, but there's a few outliers that just take all the good work and just absolutely just cripple it. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mainly the guns, which kind of have no downside. You know, your AK-107, your P90, your Vector, all of those. Yeah, They used to take the general gist of things and just throw it away because they have many upsides and no downsides. So... You'd like to see like more gun identity, kind of where like yeah, guns I'd like have... to see just like not a general like nerf to the power of the whole game, but just take the top performers and give them actual downsides, so that way they just won't be used everywhere. Because currently yeah. the P ninety is just like the hybrid LMG, which um issue in little pistol bullets. <laughs> what the uh, the f- oh god, sorry. Yeah, pretty much every good gun right now is just a jack of all trades. Yeah. The P the the P ninety being the LMG AR PDW. Like I, I don't know if you remember how it used to be, but it used to be a gun has a three eight kill, but a six eight kill at range. A gun has this, but it has that. Now it's just gun does all this. That's it. Has have fun. Has penetration. Yep. Fuck you. You can't hide. Yep. <laughs> I mean, AP did get nerfed, but twenty tack sharps plus P, all of those still give fifty percent pen. So. Oh man, F- dude, fifty is a lot. Yeah, 50 is like another wall. Um, penetration is such a good stat. I feel like people yeah. it is. forget it's about that. It is. It's such a slept on stat, bro. It, it really makes or breaks a lot of guns. Like, I was in the jury the other day, and that gun is actually pretty. F- it's not good by meta standards, but it's pretty fun. But I'm just like, man, I really wish this thing had pen. Yep. Like, like, there is a reason that PDWs other than MP7, UMP, and P90 are kind of ass on desert, guys. And it's not it's not because of the range. These guns have plenty of range. It's mostly I don't well personally, I don't play PDWs on desert because of their penetration. Um but you guys need to like uh wake up on that stat, I feel like. People people don't use it enough. 
Did you know that the Orge 2762 just gives it like 1.7 pen for no reason? Oh. Yeah, but it's an AR and it's 762. Yeah, none of the others are doing that. They're all like 1.2. Never mind. Probably You're right. <laughs> no, guys, I... it's because content creators said it was good, so that's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's the best Con in the game. Content We've got creators funny things to say about content creators. Go for it right now. Go for it now. Um, yeah. You don't have to word this fast. Sounds delicious. He's something. winding up. A good chunk of what the average person sees is heavily influenced by who? Sorry, there was a good. Good dumb. <laughs> that was so profound. There was a time where you know who Oscar is, right? Yeah. Mm. Do you? Oh, okay. Um, uh, who? Okay. Oscar, the best player in the game, the one with like the scout record, the guy with the oh, kill the record, the guy who's number one and number two on the best players list. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> um, there was a time back after, like, you know how I took a long break one time, it came back. Hmm. Kind of started then, but like, um. <laughs> Uh, like half his videos, I'd say around there, were just like me just fucking DMing him shit to do. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. This Remember the a... RBK twelve seven sixteen. A lot of a lot of them. <laughs> Tyler is the CIA. Remember the RBK twelve seven six two meta. You should DM him right now and ha ask him to make a video as if like nothing ha happened in <laughs> he over the last want like to six do months. Videos right now, he's burnt out of the game. Yeah, I mean that's that's crazy how trying to be as competitive as possible does that. Too. Didn't he just get a record? Uh, no. However, if he does do a video, it's probably a little leak. He is trying to get a three hundred kill game on site on um, containers right now. Closest I he's wonder... gotten so far is two seventy, so he's getting close. Dude, I wonder how hard that is. Um, like I, I wonder if it's luck or like. Uh... I'm sure it's not. One fun. second respawns make it a lot easier. Yeah, they also make it containers a lot harder because you just die all the time. And then since Oscar of the content creators, I can't just go around like rounded them all up, getting them all in the good books. Do you remember back when the first like movement nerfs hit test place? And yeah. the content creators were all going, Gah, it's gonna kill PF. Yep. Up updates yeah. like that. Admittedly, I was just a bit annoyed at them and I figured, well, if the general public doesn't like the changes and they retaliate, then they're not gonna push them, which they you can see they haven't pushed them. Um mm -hmm. <laughs> Some Steven was also going to do one of his videos, but at the last moment, we decided it wouldn't be best as his image is just all like happy sunshine rainbows. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, so it didn't really fit his character, so he just didn't do it. You're like the manager for all the content creators in this goddamn community. <laughs> <laughs> and you... also, there is the fact that a good chunk of them are, are on the Spezzy server. We do get some info from and stuff. I'm pretty sure that um, Fantix does a lot of videos on Gun of the Weeks and just run the bits of info. Mm. You are a lot of a bigger deal than I thought you were <laughs> at the beginning. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I keep to myself. Yeah, I I'll be real. I had never heard about you before. Country told me, and uh, now I don't even know how I haven't heard about you. Dude, he's so he's so deeply intertwined with everything that's going on. He was one of the first twenty people in my server. Like he he is the lore. <laughs> if you're a content creator, but I see having any potential, I've already known about you. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Predator. <laughs> <laughs> He's the predator, bro. Dang! <laughs> By the way, nice to meet you, Kita. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, bro. All right. Sure, okay. okay. No, you can't bring that on. You can't make that joke about yourself. And then I pr prolong the joke, and it's not okay. <laughs> we're, no, we're not doing that one. No, but anyway, I'm uh, on like the best like, <laughs> no, people know, it, it, it's quite nice. Like, it, it's quite nice having all the like the information be uniform and more correct, rather than having like random stuff thrown about. Yeah, a bunch of people. Splintering that, off, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yes. Some yeah. Stephen recently did a like movement tutorial. Yeah, we know about uh, that. Yeah, while he was oh, making it, he fucking uh, oh, he freaking. <laughs> no, <laughs> god. He he pinged me uh, while making it and asked me what a singer slide was. I had to teach him real quick. That he said it was useless. So much. <laughs> That, he said it was very niche. That explains which, a lot. Uh, He's true, though. Steven's like nice. Honestly, nothing to say about him. No, it is I, a nice insight into what the average player knows, and that is what we treat him as, like, genuinely. Yeah, Steven. Yeah, he is, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually. Steven has such a huge community. Like, I would, I would be surprised if even half of his viewers even play the game anymore. Yeah. So, 
him having a more casual view on the game is actually very good. It is. Because, I mean, it brings a lot of, uh, well, the casuals back to the game trying shit out. And uh, they get we get real opinions from people who aren't as sweaty as, like, <laughs> as us. <laughs> Um, I believe views from the top performers is nice, but at the end of the day, that doesn't reflect what the general player base is doing yeah, or thinking. Know. And they there's... are the masses of the game players, so you've got to have them in mind. Yeah, there's not 5,000 people breaking yeah. 100 every single day. Yeah. The core I... So the, the guns that Steven's there. using, probably best to look at rather than you... the meta secret gun that is okay. So you talk to creators a lot trying to correct errors, right? Yeah. So you want to go to Snowy right now and tell him that the FT300 is not the worst sniper in the game? <laughs> uh, Snowy is in his biggest little bubble ever. I have no contact with him. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that was kind of a joke, but that turned out wild. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, if Snowy wasn't in contact with me, he would not be saying that. <laughs> uh, you know what? That's fair. Well, what do you think the worst sniper in the game is, Tyler? Uh, There is... Okay. Look, that's I'm the... gonna say War 2K purely because Thank SVDS you. power creeps it. Yes. Bro. Yeah. If anybody doesn't wait, because the doesn't, SVDS doesn't. power creeps it, and not because yeah. it stops being a one tap headshot. It doesn't do that. Range? They used to have a torso kill range, and then they took it all, <laughs> took it away. <laughs> so I heard you, Tyler, say something about the War 2K, about how you guys like forgot about it. Yeah. Um... In an update. Initially, during the New Year's revamp, some guns got tweaked, just like spur of the moment. Like, you know how G11K2 got 3,000 velocity? That was literally me just typing in chat, hey, this gun has 3k velocity on the wiki, because I was thinking at the time, what is an evil gun that could get a massive Elo buff? Mm -hmm. So I gun just getting 1,000 velocity out of thin air. Uh... So the, these were just like random, like not really thought through changes. So when in... like the War 2K was like, this gun semi auto shoots fast, just buff it. Nobody thought about the conversions. They just fully went under the radar. Mm. So, so all, all the conversions, conversions are still trying to change the gun, how they used to change it, but that just doesn't have the old stats, so it doesn't really work out. You know, the conversions are still bugged. Yeah. So you're the reason the G11 is good. Uh, um, no, that was more of a little change. Oh, okay. I just gave it the velocity. It yeah. I, mean, I gave it the velocity. The other one. stuff's all too. Yeah, yeah, that but it was the one that gave it the torso multiplier, which makes it like one yeah. up to 90 stunts or something. I think it's 17 it's now, actually. Yeah. If it wasn't the highest rank AR in the game, I think you'd see it every single game. Oh, yeah. It yeah, is definitely. stupidly If it was lower rank, you'll see it all the time. It's actually really powerful. It's probably it is... good that it's not a lower rank, all things considered. Yeah. I... It'll be left alone. I would go up to say that it's kind of unbalanced. I use it sometimes, and I'm kind of ass with low fire at weapons, and it's See, like the rank is the thing that balances it, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. Like it's it's an LMG AR with pen velocity accuracy everything. <laughs> it's just so good. Kraut space magic. <laughs> <laughs> the Germans know what they're doing. Did you hear the resounding got recently by Darkman? No. The what? The resound it got recently. I don't believe so. It sounds really nice now. It got new reload sounds, new shooting sounds, new. Is it on the best place? Nah, it sounds more German space techy. Oh. He did a really good job. I with it. don't know what the fuck a German gun sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> describe <Love> it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, good description. Awesome. Oh, yeah, well, it sounds awesome. Well, I. That's good. <laughs> this episode's kind of all over the place. <laughs> yeah. yeah Russell, about the sheet. People in the comments, what is one question you want to ask? Okay. Someone actually wrote down six questions for us because they said mm -hmm. the same thing. I was like, hey, if you want to know something, because they were talking about the Blaster Droid in the Vanguard episode. They're like, ask every question except what we need to know. And I was like, hey, I ask people what they want to know and nobody responds. If you have something, please tell me. He was like, bet. And he wrote down six whole questions. Um, I think this kind of got this kind of got answered already. One of them was, "How do you guys decide what guns need to be nerfed and what guns need to be buffed?" You kind of answered that. It's either just how people feel. actually. They said what needs to be nerfed, but what do you guys think should be buffed? Yeah, that's fair. You can answer that one. Guns that have been long time underperforming. What okay? <laughs> or guns which are just terrible. Uh, so, every, every revolver carbine. Um, all guns that like never had like a time in the spotlight. Carbines is 
a good good uh point i feel yeah, throughout the game's kind of life i feel like car- carbines they're either crazy good or they're the worst guns ever like yeah. um let me mention the uh the jury again really fun gun i think it's great but um i just need some small little little buffs for it to be competitive to anything and i guess nothing's competitive when the svds is as is but <laughs> i think it's still fun yeah here's uh, uh, one thing on that point yes you notice how like every now and then like during buffs there'll be a few guns which are prominently more powerful than other guns Mm -hmm. these guns will always be guns that have never been powerful before okay because while buffing them we have the idea of well let's change this meta up for an update because why not Mm -hmm. just give it a flavor of the month and turn it down in a few months like willingly push it being overpowered yeah that's good well then you're going to get an opinion on how people want that gun to function yeah that's what happened with the like the start of the pw oh you don't know how to start the pw even even happened I, okay, so, so what you were saying is that PWs were underperforming for too long, and you guys decided to buff them. Yeah, yeah, that's. Fair. And then you just buffed all of them. Yeah, <laughs> you guys want them to be buffed. You'll get them to be buffed. <laughs> I will turn uh, this the, car around right now. I, I, there was oh. one that was untouched, right? I think um, it was the G36C or K, whichever one's. Oh, that was changed. Those both changed. In which I thought that was the only one. Oh, that was the, the only one that did get nerfed. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's My fine. Bad. There was one that got kind of changed, but it wasn't really significant. I think it was the coal SMG that was only recoil. Okay. Me mm. okay. Initially when the PW update started, right? Me, Spezzy, Spirals, and like someone else from VC together. Mm-hmm. We didn't go in it with the mindset of let's make this game great. We went into it with the mindset of what is the most overpowered gun we can make. Ooh. Oh my god. And and with each gun, we kept on trying to do compare it to the last and edge the boundary further and further. Oh, that is why by the time when we got to the P90, I don't know if you were in test place at the time, but it initially released with a three it killed to 150 studs in a four killer range. It, was, it, it had the exact stats, hidden damage and torso yeah. and everything as the five seven, but it was eleven hundred RPM with no recoil. Yeah. Good grief. It's evil. So evil. I miss it. Dude. <laughs> I actually have a screenshot of it somewhere. I can post that in the chat real quick. Someone getting melted from what, a different what would you like? What would you like to see like be meta next? That's a decent question. Roses. No. Oh. Bullpups. I, I feel like I feel like the Groses are like mid right now at best. Yeah. yeah. The Groses of four was decent and then the PDW update happened. And now <laughs> it's uh the, Holocaust uh, Rebook happened. Uh the suppressed Groza. Like I think it's the the tro- Groza two, cool. has like really really good recoil for some reason. So like, I mean, it is a bull pup. <laughs> that's fair, but yeah, I think I think Groza's would be fun. I think uh more AK more 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 AK metas. Come on, guys. I, I would we hate can the do Groza's it. being good so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, Groza's aren't on the current do list. You want to know a little insight into what? Are? Yes. Sure. There's currently a plan to redo all of the 300 blackout weapons. Interesting. The HK416 300 blackout has already hit test place. The Honey Badger fans are going to be screaming. The Badger is up very, very close on the list. Okay. The current plan is to give it like sub 1k velocity or whatever because it's shooting super, like subsonic rounds at yeah. 300 blackout, which are very slow. Mm-hmm. However, it will get a 3 kill. Uh, that's, I think that's. Will the pen okay. go down? Nope, probably up. What? Um, and for... How does that make sense? <laughs> no, it can't pen. How does that desert. make sense? It and can't... for people who really like the old badger, it does have a cult follow in. Uh, Dark Man was talking about giving it a supersonic ammo conversion, which just gives it the old stats, so everyone's happy. Oh, can't you just fair. like remove the barrel attachment? Like, uh, can't you just like put like the unsuppressed barrel attachments on to get the yep. velocity back? Uh, that's not how that works. Is the rounds issue in our subsonic? Oh, right, the round. Sorry. Yeah. I, I'm thinking like a gamer right now. <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough, suppressors don't actually reduce velocity in real life. They actually increase it as yeah, we lengthen just... the gas yeah, because they're they're the more just barrel length. Well, it's not. It's well, not really more barrel length. It's more space for pressure and more space for yeah, powder cook, exactly. powder cook off, or powder burn. I my so, only yeah. unlike what games portray, suppressors are actually just straight up beneficial to the gun. My only exposure to guns were in games country, so I I don't know the lingo. <laughs> <laughs> I can teach uh, you. All right. 
you you go over the the other questions that the commenter um, went on. That was a big tangent. That was good. <laughs> uh, one of the questions they've got is this is probably going to be a pretty easy answer. Why does Stylus want to make the game more like COD? Like, why does it want it to be more realism based, especially after so long? And this is probably going to be pretty easy to answer, but it's a question. Have you ever heard the term Leto's vision? Yes. Oh, let's basically I, explain this. I think um, I think what Leto is doing is he's finally realizing that uh, he hasn't really had a lot of control over his game for a while. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of shaping, he's kind of taking back control of his game from all the previous crazy contractors we had. And oh, God. Now crazy said changes. it's my turn on the development team. And, um, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And also, uh, Shay, one of the other devs, said that he thinks that they're just trying to make a game that they enjoy playing, like the devs. Mm. So, casual mode. Yeah, that's part of casual mode, and also I guess that also involves making all the guns realistic. Yeah, I think. I mean, yeah. th that team could make a really cool tactical shooter, in my opinion. L yeah. Little's the OG, right? Little's like the OG. He's he's the he's the Little's owner, the right? dev. He's the person. Yeah, okay. I was remembering back uh, when I used to play like a Call of Robloxia, like even before like uh, Phantom Forces was out. It, that was Lido's name on on the dev team. Mm. I I remember playing the game in 2018, Phantom Forces. I mm. booted up Phantom Forces in 2018. I saw Lido's and him's name on the loading screen once you booted up. Oh my gosh! Like, it's him. That's that, that's the same guy. <laughs> Wait a minute, <laughs> Mr. Cinnamon himself. <laughs> Well, I, I guess Little's vision's a pretty good answer to that question. Yeah, that's pretty much what yeah. I expected to be said. <laughs> Gonna be honest. I guess I could kind of be simplified as like the dev's vision because I'm I'm assuming Shay is also behind that too. Yeah, I think I think he's more on the. From what I've heard, I feel like he's the one that's more trying to tone down the movement side, and Little's trying to go for gun side. I don't know if that's wrong though. I think they're both trying to tone down the movement. Well, yeah. Did I ever talk about um, how like where all these changes originally stemmed from? No, because I know that earlier you love that wasn't part of it. Oh, all right, go ahead. Okay, so spill the beans. PW New Year's realism, low velocities, all of this. Mm -hmm. They can all get traced back to late last year. Spirals was busy streaming. Unlike normal, he's old and cranky. Probably not past his <laughs> bedtime. All right, bro. Uh, ancient bone. The yeah. guy's like. Pushing 60 soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're 50 years old, country. Yeah, that's fine. So basically, he was complaining about the AK velocities because he would use them on warehouse, and because his aim sucks, he would blame it on the velocity. Go, <laughs> damn. I'm missing well, my bullets. Spirals Buff, the fire. Buff the AK velocities, make them shoot faster. 3,000. And then it so, all um, went downhill from here. So backed off that, this is like this all I did just like a fluke event of me being a streamer at the time, Leto streaming at the time as well. Leto was just streaming randomly for the first time in ages because he was just doing going, Hey guys, look, cool animations, because he really liked his realistic animations. Mm -hmm. So me, me and a few friends were in VC, we went there and we were like, you know what? Let's see if we can get the AK of Lost He's buffed. So then so as a joke, we went to the wiki. It's like it would be stupid this side because we weren't really being serious. So we're you like, guys were just testing Lido. No, we were just joking about it, not seriously. This would be a really funny prank. <laughs> so then we um, sourced the wiki and we asked him, hey, can you buff the AKs to 2,350 velocity? He checked the wiki and was like, you know what? Seeing as we're doing realistic animations, this is realistic velocity. Sure, oh, just do it. And then it all spiraled downhill from there. <laughs> next, next up, we're gonna have realistic headshot damage. So that's why throughout the um, like New Year's updates, there were just a lot of like velocity buffs. So we were just testing the water, seeing what stupid guns we could get buffed. That's mm. while the GLM and K2 got bought up, because that'd be stupid say, to get a velocity buff. <laughs> you say New Year's update a lot. Um, yeah. I was I started that's playing a, again in that's April. That's ground zero of everything. I was start. I started playing again in April. What? Was it was New Year's update like big or like was it special or? That was what brought the uh the crazy SVDS we have now. Mm. So some big changes. I'd so say. that's you know how the that was the reworked SVDS right like the yeah. high fire rate. Yep. I thought that was much older. No, 
adding on to the um like just like testing what we could do with the high velocities then we also started getting reloads belt because we go hey Lito, use this gun doesn't that really feel a bit slow to you he'd use it and go yeah that reload does feel slow so and then it take half a second off of it point. no no no, no. we were just seeing like what would happen and that's how the tar got off yeah and uh, also, I, re I remember the tar dude that was great and also, because Leto didn't like how some semi guns were being portrayed with RPM limits, mm -hmm. I shit you not. You know how the XX and the Executioner got their RPM like tripled? Okay. I just simply typed in, Can you shoot this gun? It feels slow. <laughs> and he shot and went, Oh, it's slow. I just opened up the stats, went to the RPM, backspace, backspace, backspace 400. <laughs> <laughs> and that was that. And that's all. Wait, so you... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He's showing his source code on stream? Yeah. Bro is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I can see this DM is random snippets of the anti-cheat to me now and then. <laughs> Wait, you know shit about the anti-cheat now, huh? Uh, I don't know how much I'm allowed to say because I do know some stuff. But I don't think you're allowed to say anything. About it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not let's not risk getting banned. That was during the movement update. He was like saying stuff of how the movement get interactive and it goes with internal bugs. Mm. Yeah, I'd hope so. With how much people were worming around and all that stuff yeah. that was happening, though. <laughs> Dude, we're still getting booted by the anti cheat when oh, yeah. we fucking launch tech too hard <laughs> all the time. That shoe going out of the twenty meter radius so it bans you back. Hmm. It doesn't ban you back. It resets you. Which does not if you do a spiral now. You flew too high. Death. There's there's a few long to the sun. spots that I, Icarus. Country Country just posted his video on the launch text things today. And uh he didn't he only included one of the two like the uh, really wacky launch tech spots. On Ravod, there's like one tank uh in the front of the buildings. You can uh I included that. Yeah, it's the really long jump. Yeah. Uh, while we were trying to do it together on the private server, we were getting reset so all the much. time. So much. And uh, Winter Age has a Winter car Age. in a ditch. It's one word, buddy. Winter Age? Yeah. Sorry. There's uh, a funny Winter thing about has... that map. Yes. That's only in the pool right now because during the New Year's thing, I, I just noted, hey, can you add this map? It's kind of cool. He went, okay. And I became the, one of the least Dude, you need, the entire you need to just the, casually... The streams were crazy. Yeah, I love those streams. You just need to casually ask him to fucking add maps again. Yeah. Um, There's no maps being made of the ones that are suck. Leto doesn't like... You know the like small like lumber factory map in test space? Leto hates yeah. that yes, map. I know that map. That is definitely not a very... He has vetoed it for me and added, which is sad. Hmm. Is, it, is it a good map? Like, does it I like well? it. I enjoy it. Axis really likes it, but yeah. Does it flow well? Yeah, kind of. That yeah. one that looks like farm lipids. The no, not, what, not, not that one. No, the, like, the lumber. It's like, like a, a little hillside valley with like a, a lumber yard. There's like a... Haze, Matt Haze. Yeah, I can... No. I remember playing it when stamina and damage numbers were first coming out, but I can't remember the name of it. Mm. I feel like... um. What is it? The the goddamn plaza map, is it? Uh, the I one think. that's like a in a city with really, really tight corridors everywhere. It's always getting picked on the test place. Oh. I think oh. people really like, like it. Slums or whatever it is? I, I don't know, dude. I don't play test place enough. It's no. like Favela from Siege. I never played Siege. Oh. <laughs> that's probably good for your sanity, I'm going to be honest. But yeah, do you guys have a map that you want to be added into the game? Or re-added. Luck. You're going to say Blizzard. Well, he said uh, luck. <laughs> Blizzard's kind of gas. I like Blizzard. Uh, can't be added, though. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I it's kind of sad. I mean, Reasons. I'm not going to comment on it. Remove that from the <laughs> end of the video. I don't want, I don't, I don't want to be cancelled. <laughs> Too bad. I'll be right, back to uh, the uh, New Year's point real quick. Yeah. During the time when that update released, that was viewed as one of the best updates in years. It was universally praised and everyone loved it. Okay. So mm. based off the backing of velocities being buffed to be more realistic, reloads being buffed, and general guns being buffed, all of that, like all of the like changes that were we did and were well received because Lita was using us as essentially free labor, that heavily helped shape his, like, his current balance philosophy. 
So when it came to the PVW revamp and we were there, he took our word a lot more than others purely because of how successful New Year's was. Okay. Oh. So um, you gambled one and now you win every time. Not necessarily. I'm just <laughs> riding the wave and currently the wave is Dark Man. He's a lovely fellow. He he loves the game as much as I do. He's nice to work with. Dark Man is great. He man. seems so enthusiastic about this game. Yeah, he is. He he loves his sounds. It's, it's nice to see passion that's like shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, passion passion has been a, yeah. a rare resource to come by for this game in the last few years. I'm banned and I'm the most passionate here, so I should say. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why. They get banned, but You're yeah. more passionate than 90% of the dudes that make money off you, this game. You should, you should, uh, actually, I don't even, I don't even know the reason. I was going to say you should probably, uh, ask to be unbanned, but, uh. That's not happening. That not going to happen? All right. They have it out for him. It's not. It's not oh, happening. wow. And by that, yeah. the, uh, staffing. And by that, you mean one person? Yes. Oh God. We Justified, love... maybe, but <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> bro, just exposed him. <laughs> all right. Well. So yeah, all, all of that helps shape the current balance philosophy. So um. <laughs> I still can't believe you're the reason I have to deal with this dumbass P90. By the way. <laughs> uh, if we really think about it, I blame Spirals for complaining about the AK velocities just then. Yeah, well, I kind of like spirals. If he, oh, if he never complained, you, you he never would cloud, isn't, isn't that what it is? <laughs> no, no, I, I think I, I really look up his files, man. I shouldn't, but like... He's like old, he's about to die. <laughs> Bro, I'm yeah. like... I'm like... I'll probably look up in a different way. I'm like the same age as he is. Fuck off. You're 60? Yeah, bro, I'm 60. I'm turning, like, 69 this year because I'm that Hey, cool. good for you! Cutting your hairs. It's not going to be that long enough at Evan, so... Have you gotten your <laughs> ARP, a AARP flyers yet? Wait, do you have what? an AARP oh. in Canada? I don't even know. Oh, never mind. I, I speak French. So, um... It's like old people life insurance stuff. Yeah, we have that. Okay. Movement update. <laughs> yes! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? Uh, you mean the experimental changes that were in the test place, or I mean on the ones production? that are live right now, been live for the past two months. Very fun. No movement update. I think, I think it would be dumb to say that it's bad. Yeah, it's it honestly has made the movement the most easily, the most easy and enjoyable it's been in a long time. The game gained. 50% more players when that came out. Yeah, and it's stayed for the most part. Mm, God, I want I want prone sliding back, by the way. That is gross. I Oh, no, I know. It's never mind. I was thinking the wrong thing. I was thinking of Worms. Look at our weekly channel. Alright. Yeah, it only took that many messages to make a good movement update. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that you only talk to Axis for the movement. Uh, and some other bugs here and there, but the main chunk was movement. That's only in DMs or other places. Mm. So, 200 messages, that's like three hours. I wouldn't say that. Trust me, Axis is um not the chai type, but he sends like big like information chunks of books. Oh, okay. Yeah, big books. They're, to be fair, they are quite informative. So, you're also the reason... I have RSI. I'm, I'm not the reason, okay? <laughs> no. I just helped guide it away from being terrible because at first, um, for how lovely Axis is, like, lovely to speak to, um, he didn't actually know a single thing about movement beforehand. He thought mm. M sliding was jump sliding. Mm. Mm. So well, after jump sliding was. So after a bit of teaching about what M sliding is and why he shouldn't remove it, because initially he was going to remove it. I mean... Another various things. The movement update got salvaged from movement nerf to movement rework. And I then actually, Spezzy blabbered about uh, more running, so I got kept. I actually have an opinion about, like, uh, I have one thing I dislike about the movement update. Yeah. And it's... Um, I'm not judging. It's how easy jump sliding is now. That I've, was an access change. He, yeah, I know. He didn't like how inaccessible it was to new players. So, I, because it was frame perfect, so he was like, you know what? 
making an official feature. Perfect? It was yeah, it was, perfect. Perfect. It, was, it was very hard to do. That was some crazy prediction. Man, but, uh, am I it, okay? If you learned it, you were at a big advantage because it was yeah. better than him sliding. All right. So he took that so and gave it like an actual guys, like, time window. You guys, you guys in actually, I wasn't even streaming during that time. Okay, so before, right before the movement update. I started streaming when? Was it after or before the movement update? Before. Before. Okay. So I was streaming. Okay. If you go back to my really old streams on YouTube, you can see that I do not M slide a single time. No, you only because jump slide. I jump slide everywhere. Yeah. I could I could hit that frame perfect jump every single time. That's really impressive. Which I have to say, and once once you have it down, it is easier than M sliding. I was completely clueless about how difficult it is, and I still can't believe how difficult it is for other people to do it. You know that most of us couldn't jump slide back then. I couldn't. I don't think so. Is he good? Well, I think it's because of my keyboard. Um, I learned how to jump slide in 2021 from my good difficult. friend oh, well. and former staff, Mr. Nobody. He used to jump slide all the time in college. Hmm. There's one reason I see it being like a really good thing. And that's because jump sliding was completely impossible to do on laptop keyboards. That's that's fair. On flat keyboards, you couldn't do it at all. Yeah. So I think that's one advantage. But I also, I'm kind of mad that I lost my exclusivity, <laughs> you know? Oh, no. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I feel one thing I don't like about the jump sliding, that's what I was going to get into, was um, it feels a lot less respectful responsive like movement in general feels a little sluggish and slidey you know so uh i like how crisp it was before and uh maybe it's just me being biased and like uh, all my nostalgia but uh i would love to like re retry the old movement and see if i'm just biased or something go into the 100 player servers that's what uses v5 you're right you know what i'm gonna do that right after this i thought you were gonna say um, right now i was gonna go huh Right now. And I couldn't do it right now. Background footage change. <laughs> V5 server when Roblox is down. But yeah, um, I I don't agree with the emp slide changes where it's like kind of completely dead. Emp slide is dead on stamina. If you use stamina, it's dead. If you don't use yeah. stamina, I think it's more preferable. Which is like 99% of the population. See, yeah, but if you don't use stamina, don't... you don't need it. Yeah, you're fine. I, you I, use still it one use, jump. I still don't use stamina because I don't. Uh, I don't understand it. Maybe I'm it, fan of like muscle remember. memory. You are sorry. <laughs> like muscle memory, space, You just can't. Can't. You can't yeah, convince no, and, your, and, your and hands. I really feel like, yeah, and I don't really feel like I'm getting much out of the reduced cooldowns anyway because it's, I can still kind of schmooze. Yeah, it's really only used for the you're people never who want to do super speedy movement things in bursts. If you're really, really sweaty, oh. like you mentioned it earlier, um, Oscar doesn't use stamina on containers. All he needs to do is just emp slide around. And... If you do movement all the time, stamina is really bad for that because stamina has very slightly lower uptime. Stamina in terms of... requires but... somewhere to like recover your movement, which on containers you're never going to experience. Exactly. Yeah. But it also has... Yeah, exactly. It has lower uptime because of that. So... You spend less, slightly less time in movement with stamina than without. So it's more of a change for like uh, people who sweat a lot less. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, spazzy has been in the mind. Oh. <laughs> well, I, was trying to I, highlight thought, the things that I thought I was spreading. I thought I was accidentally spreading misinformation online. No, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, uh, if you use stamina movement, you can overall on average use movement less often so once you get to that really really sweaty always moving type gameplay that's when you're you're gonna disable it you know yeah because you gotta come back and sweat. <laughs> how do you even do this without the light jump oh there's no oh you need to do it with the light and then i need yeah. to do it without it the hundred player server is dead it's not there. Yeah, no one plays it because OPF, no one likes OPF. Wait, but like, how do I do it then? Play it with yourself. Yeah, I mean, you're just testing movement, aren't you? Yeah. Hold on. That version has the L86 with 223 versus just flat out the best gun in the game. 
Yeah, yeah that, that thing's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it also, it also has the AK-103 long barrel round. Oh, yeah. So, I, I can't... Y'all y'all need to repeat. I'm fucking dumb. Where do I go for that old movement? Uh, The 100 players. Um, go to the stylus group. There's going to be a game called Unstable Branch. Ah, there we go. Thank you, Spacey. Yeah. If you uh... think some of the PDW update guns are OP, you've not seen some of the old guns yet back then. <laughs> You mean, oh, yeah, I've heard of the... The, the L86223 has genuinely zero recoil, sniper velocity, like, just yeah, but sniper it's stats, British. and, like, a three kill. Yeah, but you're also using probably. the L86, so you're sacrificing your soul anyway. Exactly. Come on. It's British. It's the most consistent gun and the most overpowered. Also, the <laughs> LSX long uh, police barrel has a 70 stud torso kill. Kita, don't <laughs> apologize about that. Not even the British like the original L85. <laughs> I think probably one of them is the most busted up piece of garbage in the world. It's horrible. It had to you be completely be redone like three times just to be usable. <laughs> Stylish Studios experience. <laughs> it's not there. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I'm fucking <laughs> blind. <laughs> All right. Well, while Kita's on that tangent, um. We'll go with one. I think we'll go with one of the close to final questions. Uh, what do you guys do to have fun specifically in game? Like you log on and you get on to just play the game. What do you do specifically fun. to have fun? Um, I just use crazy stuff that I've never used before. Um, sometimes I like I like using meta stuff. I always you can't really you can't really always use off meta stuff because there's way too much in the game that's just gonna instantly counter you, like the BFG any any one of the seven thousand pdws now mm -hmm. um but yeah and as i've mentioned for like so much of this podcast i've been using the jury a lot recently yeah i used to have like zero kills on it and now as of like four days of using it kind of on and off i haven't really been playing much but the times i have been playing i've used it um i've gotten like 600 kills on it okay and it's actually pretty fun I so I, I just use 410 on that thing Oh yeah, the four ten is crazy. I like the uh, bird shot on it the most, which is actually okay. so good. I'm but, try, um, try that. I never remember using that. Yeah, you know, it's it surprised me. It has like the worst spread on earth, but it's nine pellets with forty two damage. So oh. it still kills. At, like, <laughs> it still kills at like seventy studs. It's crazy. <laughs> it's just pure RNG, and you just win every time. Yeah. Holy shit! But um, yeah, I, I just use I just use different things. Like I, I try to keep it fresh. And um, that's all I have fun. Although not not every day you can really have fun with uh fun with PF. Some days are just gonna be way worse than others. Yeah, that's okay. So I'm playing uh <laughs> the old versions now. What the fuck was that movement? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so it's, good now? It's pretty it nostalgic again to you. Holy shit! Get used, get used to though. Okay, so I can still hit my jump slides every time. Oh. Um, but uh it's so slow like movement is so much um, faster now the lower grab i was sketchy about it at first because you know i'm so used to what i've been playing with forever but um i actually like the lower gravity and lower the new gravity slides, is so, so nice That's lower so gravity nice. is very very cool. it just feels good it broke a few maps in terms of flow That's fine. um name huh yeah honestly name yeah name them uh there is i think it's uh elevation um there's a few spots you couldn't jump to to like flank that now you can yeah, the elevation's always been broken you could do most of the stuff you can do nowadays on elevation with the old movement but you had to like specifically practice that map that's why it's it was a, one of my favorite maps it's a you can, lot easier now like if you're on phantoms the ghost spawn trap is one of the most disgusting in the game in my opinion if you know all the um the flank like super dump spots like mm. you can easily drop, um, you can easily drop like pretty good, pretty good hundreds. I'd say high one hundreds on elevations against Ghost. I think my best game is like a one forty eight. Good grief! I'm sure that was very enjoyable. One forty eight three one second. Yeah, is no, it was it was crazy. great for the enemy They love it. <laughs> what game version was that? In? Pre one um, second spawns kind probably of crazy. Probably version nine. I need to find the screenshot of it. Well, not the eight. I. I got kind of taken off guard because my FT300 skin is here, and I thought I didn't save. All right. Do you want my answer to that question, the fun one? Yeah. Okay, it's called Metro. MP5 oh. slash 10 hollows. 
Oh, just turn your brain off and just it's like fucking doom just, <laughs> just soar through them <laughs> that, that gun's unbelievable like i i can't I, believe we overlooked that okay it's crazy you want to know something funny about this the uh, mp510 he just I, discovered it i literally had no clue about it before like stream from two days ago <laughs> i tried it out on stream and the very first container game i had with it was 100 and what it what was it uh, 114 kills and i did it again but it wasn't flare dom and i got 145 pace he's like where is this been i uh, it's probably one of the most powerful close quarters guns ever. It is so, i've never heard of it it's one of the only things that it's actually so represents insane. 10 millimeter well yeah, it is honestly. it is oh yeah funny thing about 10 millimeter hidden. um Originally, Lita was only going to have it as like a slightly more powerful nine millimeter. Oh, that'd be a, a crime. Let me find the image real quick. Thirty-eight damage. Uh, bring this up in the thing, by the way. Once, like in the actual video. Yeah, the hollow point in general was crazy. We both, and, and I think we both, I did at least. We both thought it was horrible when it first <laughs> hit the game because negative four symbol the player. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> and then we realized you just hit the limbs. Yeah. Wait, Wait a guys, minute. Just stop thinking. Just shoot. It's the it's the leg meta, bro. Who just who landed in the water and jumped out of the water? How did you? How did you? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm controlling both of them at the same time. Because uh, Tyler's like in the name or something like that. How is somewhere? How how did you guys take the armor piercing slash hollow point con like changes? By the way, actually, I. I know what the answer is going to be, and that it's going to be that it's, it was your idea. Well, we were given direct feedback on them to help tweak it in the right direction. Um, yeah, there we go. And I, I just said, hey, but I want changes to a hollow point. I thought AP yeah. was fine as is, but I do like the new one better still. Yeah. I was like, Holo, hollow points are really bad. Can you change it? And he was like, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll do what we did for the uh, YOLO update back in. God, I don't even know when those were first introduced forever ago. Do you guys think that AP is a straight upgrade from default? Depends. Um, depends. Yeah, definitely depends. On a lot of guns, yeah, because going from one penetration, the 1.3 is like actually kind of a big deal. AP can remove one head and one limb or like three limb interactions, which are quite important, so not necessarily in those scenarios. Right, because it reduces damage. I never thought yeah. about the limb damage. Yeah. Like if your gun is 34 max damage, um, with AP, you can still three tap if you hit the torso, but it's way less consistent because if you hit like one limb shot, now you're not three tapping anymore. And then it just mm. becomes bad because a lot of those, a lot of those thirty-four max damage guns rely on their thirty-four max damage at some range. Like, Check these. So All right, you guys gotta make them make up updates faster because at the rate of one damage per update, the vector's gonna be at thirty-two in a few. So come on. <laughs> Maybe by twenty thirty. Don't worry. Uh, no, I'm, I'm fine though. Honestly, that thing's crazy. Look in the weekly channel. Back to my ten millimeter point. Yep. So for like a day straight, I was nagging Nito. Hey. 10 millimeter is a bit represented realistically here. Mm -hmm. Can you buff it? And here we go. No. So then I showed him this image. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, now that you mentioned then, Oh, yes, of course. And, and then the, the exact same minute, he buffed MP5 slash 10 to be a 2 win. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Dude, 10 millimeter is the, <laughs> 10 millimeter is oh. the thing. Wait, that's a, that's a Photoshop, huh? No, that's 10 millimeter. The only reason people don't hardly use 10 Was there a nuclear mushroom is cloud? Weeks is your wrist... You know there's like... That's an actual thing is... Oh uh, uh, yeah, I, I know, I know. in the um, temporary cavities. Yeah. That image is the sole reason why the 10mm guns do so much damage right now. 10 mil is just... Wait, 10 mil is bigger than 45. 10 mil is basically uh, taking like... M stop and power at 45 and adding the uh, speed of 9 mil to it. So it's just better. It's just yeah. better. Yeah, it's just it is just better. You look at all the pistol rounds, it is just better. <laughs> Who would have thought? The FBI, the government's just flimsy wrists, so they didn't adopt it. The FBI. Shit, that's the 45. that's the funny story behind why ten millimeter guns do so much damage right now. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I'm kind of. I wanted to say I'm fine with it because I never see anyone using the stupid MP510. Be happy. Um, but, uh, I'm sure that it's gonna, s the community is gonna catch on one day and everyone's gonna be using it once the fucking P90 gets nerfed. Yeah, probably. 
Oh, this gun to it goes at 800 RPM. Wait a minute. It's yeah, it's, like you. Where has this been? I'll, I'll be real. As someone who first used the MP510 two days ago, I, I can't understand how it's in the game. <laughs> Did you know the MP5/10 has the same 3 core range as the AK47? Yeah, it also has two hit torso while the AK doesn't. They can also one head and one limb to a Julian stud. Mm. If you hit one limb or one head, their name is in the death note. They're just dead. Mm. And this whole this whole episode's kind of fun. It's just us rambling about random numbers. <laughs> Um, welcome to the TF. That's where you get when you bring on the the um sheep people. It's what the people Dude. want here. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. You wanted to bring the spreadsheet people here, bro. Just deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted they're this. The, now listen. The to real it. min maxers. They're the real sweat lords. Do you want to even know how I got involved in the sheet in the first place? Yes. Um, it was actually through a friend and Spezzy next to didn't know me at the time and what he did know me for it wasn't good things <laughs> you can agree with that right <laughs> I was on the discord stuff yeah. yeah so he trusted the mutual friend here went out on a whim and let me in and I worked out well I did hmm. now you insult him all the time and play fireboy and water girl <laughs> yeah it was, it, it, it was okay it could have been better it, it, it was a risk and it played out well I'll take well, I mean, you, you get nothing in life if you don't take risks, huh? Mm. I guess, I Tyler, you've single-handedly probably changed more about the game than anyone else in the yeah. recent years. Like, in terms of balance. Spezzy, would you agree with that? I, yeah. I would say in ways that are good. Uh, MP510? You're singling out <laughs> one gun that isn't even an issue. <laughs> you literally just talked about nobody using it. <laughs> And you're yeah, trying you're right. to use it as an example of why it's bad. No, you're oh, right, you're right. Here's the funny thing. Um, Leto originally wasn't going to give the SVDS a torso kill, but this wasn't just me in case. Spezzy was also involved here. Me and Spezzy piped up. Do you remember that, Spezzy? What would happen if you got shot in the chest, buddy? Do you remember when Leto was wasn't going to give the, the SVDS a torso kill, but, but we told him, hmm, they're going to feel as weak without it. So when he gave it his back. I mean, that, that is a big round it's firing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. Spezzy, if we keep our mouth shut, just saying. I I actually do you guys like the SVDS because I generally just can't use it. I feel like it's not as good as people say it is. Um, um I'm is it? I I think it's true. <laughs> yeah? yeah. I all right. Well, I guess skill issue. I I would have really liked to see what the old SVDS was like though. It looked a lot more fun. It's on Lancaster. It's the old SVDS, but three hundred RPM. Well, there it you it go. looked a lot more fun to use. It was just below RPM limiting it. It was like the Goku like training weights. <laughs> that's that's a crazy way to say it. I've only got the training weights removed. I just had the full power unleashed. Baby no jutsu. Just like hey, it fires way faster in real life. Oh, does it? <laughs> You're telling me you can pull the trigger more? Yeah. Did you know that theoretically the M107 can go up to like a thousand RPM? Just saying. That's horrifying. Imagine. I mean, isn't that just a Gatwade Avenger at that point? Just smaller. <laughs> <laughs> the Browning. That's that's a pretty slow chug though. Your screen is a backflip yeah. with the suppression. Yeah, but it, wait, what caliber does that shoot? Is is the M2 it two? Is a fifty? Oh yeah, yeah country. Okay. Have fun leaving timestamps on this video. Oh, that'll be fine. It's gonna be <laughs> tedious and boring as it is. Do we even have timestamps in the other ones? Fifty yeah. timestamps. Oh God. Yeah, I had the timestamps and I had them all done and I uploaded, the, I got the video done and uploaded at 3 a.m. and I forgot to do the timestamps. And Tyler first comment, timestamps, three explosion emojis. <laughs> all right. Always keep uh, my eyes out in every place. We'll do, I think we can finish it with the uh, sheet question. Okay. How, so the loadout sheet is pretty easily one of the most reliable and gone and like gone to resources in the entire game how do you you touched on this in text chat but obviously people can't see that so how do you spezzy specifically but both of you um feel it's affecting the game um i don't know uh i think i think there can be arguments making for... <laughs> okay. 
I think, I think there are going to be arguments made for both good and bad. Uh, I think it's good because you know, it helps people understand what is really it, it's it takes a little bit to learn like the attachment system but it's complex and it's pretty boring yeah and my goal is to just help people understand like hey this does this and i, I don't want it to be taken as some sort of gospel or anything or yeah. just like hey these are these are the best loadouts in the game this is just this is just what i use and i hope she can encourage people to try and explore attachments try and make their own loadouts see what works mm -hmm. but um I definitely do see why some people don't like it. Like it kind of takes the fun out of building your own because you can just go to the sheet, grab whatever loadout is on there, and it's going to be pretty good most of the time, if I have to say so. But... Yes, there's a pretty easy fix to that. Just yeah, don't just go don't to the do sheet. That. It's the internet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just don't mm -hmm. click it. Yeah, no one. I mean, no one has to use it. <laughs> I, I, I do appreciate. Yeah, I do appreciate uh, how kind of popular it's gotten and. How many you know it's like thank you dms and even emails i get for hey thank you this is, you get this is great it's a really great yeah um, because it's through google mm. um everyone can just email me so i go to my inbox and there's like 20 emails i'm like oh my god hi people <laughs> this is not the socializing i wanted i definitely should have used a um, different email than my <laughs> than my main one but uh it's whatever but yeah um, I think overall the net impact is good for the game. Oh yeah, but um, I, I, I do see why some people don't like it. I think I think it's a fantastic resource, and the people who are complaining about it can just deal with it because it's benefiting way more people than it's hurting. Yeah. What about you, Tyler? I've actually had very very deep th thinks about this before. Wasn't that that sounds um. I do believe that it does like help the general player base wisen up. But then if they're all if they all understand what's going on better, so then they're like min maxing their loadouts to get the lowest recoil possible, doesn't that just inherently drive the game towards being more sweaty and more tryhardy and then just less casual? Isn't half the fun of the game like messing around, making your attachments, finding out what works? Because discovering is enjoying at the end of the day. It takes away part mm. of the charm of the game. When you're left with just a sweat fest, people with min max loadouts, hyper beaming each other, vector double yellow laser, long barrel sig. Oh god, the double yellow meta. <laughs> sorry about that, by the way. Um, <gasps> yellow, little... That was you? <laughs> no, nah, that was from us. <laughs> oh, we, we promoted double yellows pretty yeah. hard because double yellows are really good. Yeah, who, who was it who made them? Was it a. Uh... The the contributor who added them? No, he um, that was someone. God, else. So... He did the pistol. Uh, he did the pistol lasers. Oh, okay. He did the pistol. I'm laser. pretty sure that um, every meta in the past like year or so has come from us. Like <laughs> breaking his <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't think it's bad because they're not as insufferable as the old old metas were. I mean, anyone can make a metro so that way. Kind of the no lives to just stare at all the guns to kind of pick up on them first. Mm -hmm. mm. So yeah. Probably how we built up this like community with a server that's almost at two thousand members now. Hmm. Purely from a gun sheet, which at the end <laughs> of the day, you said it was fifty people on it before. That's fifty people at one snapshot, like one snapshot in time. People are constantly opening it, leaving it, opening it. There's probably oh, yeah. thousands per day of you it like easily. A hundred percent. Like individual people will go out their way just to get the better loadout. When PF only has like five k average players at its peak. I personally just a have lot it of the player all the time. Is using it. I have I have Spezzy's loadout sheet and the record yeah. sheet both open all the time. Like I'd estimate that like a minimum like ten percent of the player base are probably using it at all times. So I'd imagine, yeah. Yeah, it's um quite impactful and it's probably made you die a few t more times with like people using better guns. You know, I've gotten killed by AK-107 bars your vertical grip a little too much, I think. I've died to guns that I've put on there myself, like, with my own setups. <laughs> the the AK-107 is fucking annoying, man. If it was, um, interesting, say, at least find something that you know they're using because you put it like that. Oh my god. <laughs> what have I done? No, one, no one's using vertical grip until I said, oh, hey, wait, it's actually kind of good. Everyone's like, oh, okay. Suddenly vertical grip buzz barrel appears. <laughs> 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 I open, I'm on the, the Spacey's Phantom Forces loadout and attachment sheet, 
I open the fucking tier list and the SVDS is the first thing at the very top. I feel <laughs> I feel stupid for asking my question from earlier. <laughs> yeah, th- th- that that gun's unbelievable. Like, is it? I, I'll close. I'll try it out more. I feel. Put on Lancaster if you want more of a torso killer. Because yeah, I know, I know. It's a straight upgrade. Yeah, it's just seventy studs of torso kill there, with three hundred RPM. There is RPM. no downside to it. Imagine the XIX but just bigger. All it is. Ooh. Mm. The, oh yeah, um, mega police barrel. There's something funny about the the XIX. It's only meant to have a 45 stud torso kill. It's not meant for that. No, no, no. Um, the the XIX currently has a 60 stud torso 60, kill. Right? Yeah. yeah, it's only meant to be 45. Why? During um New Year's, I didn't realize Leto changed the damages. So when I gave him new ranges to give it, the range is kind of over. But the, the, the one it killed a 60 cent by accident. So it's... that's why it's the XIX and not the Executioner all um, the time. Yeah. The huh. Executioner is meant to be further than the XIX because of that one mistake that never got fixed because we kind of like, eh, oh, well, it's funny. <laughs> just... I just hope Little doesn't watch this, huh? No, that's fine. Er- er- everyone fine. knows about it. It's just like a piece of history now that people just accept as being part of the It's broken and hard to play against. Let's just leave it in. It was meant to happen. It's not meant to be this powerful. Oh well. (laughs) Well, dude, every 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 bit of this episode was lore, lore (laughs) about about not even the community this time. I think I feel like uh just nerding out over numbers for a good what two hours now. A lot of the uh, changes that we've pushed for have been like commonly requested by people, though, so it's not just us being silly at times. Mm, so you guys just listen to the community and pass that as, to the higher up. As you noted earlier, we are kind of like a like like general like community figures. We like this are the people. Want mm. <laughs> I've, I've one's banned and the other one, <laughs> the other one's pezzy. For a band user, I'm making a list of my cookies. For 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 someone who. Doesn't interact with a Discord. He's got a pretty big impact in there, huh? <laughs> if you search my name, people do mention me every now and then. I think. Oh yeah, the ones who know. Country talks about you a lot. <laughs> I promise right, it's well... only romantic some of the time. Don't well, uh... <laughs> 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 sound like you crazy, man. Tyler. What? What was that? Just watch the news. I'm cheating All on right. you, Kirby. Sorry. <laughs> um. Do you guys have any other like miscellaneous topics that don't fit anywhere in the podcast that you wanted to talk about? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> um, All right. No, I felt like uh, the Discord server no, was one really touched up on. Oh you yeah. Do about... you guys want to? Do you guys want to promote your your socials and shit or something? Yeah. No, I don't. Really <laughs> so do we don't really have any socials to promote besides the uh, Discord server. Spezzy has a my... Discord server. Go follow my Facebook. <laughs> no, guys, I stream Please on Facebook go. every Friday. Please don't go follow his my, l- my LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> follow my private Twitter account. Um, don't follow his private Twitter account, guys. I tweet about Phantom Forces and I at the president every time. <laughs> at Joe Biden, <laughs> <laughs> at Joe Biden. What do you think about the current AK 107 meta? Do you guys have any recommendation for people we could have on the podcast in the future? I know who I'm going to try and ask. Um. Yeah, no. No. I, I, I don't know no one. Hyper. Hyper? Hyper. No. <laughs> Hyper you're going to have, you're gonna have yeah, to... Uh, if, if Hyper would be willing to get on them. He sure. was the contributor before Ma. You're going to have okay. to type out their name. <laughs> but yeah, all right. Do you want to... Do you want to see what we can do about that country later? Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds great. Yeah. All right. Okay. Not not, a, not a, a contractor, not not contributor. Oh, big difference higher up the chain. All right. Different seat. Well, uh, it's been great to have you guys here today. Yeah. And you've been, Country, you've, been think... kept, <laughs> you've been kept occupied. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> one more funny miscellaneous topic, right? Oh yeah. Ah uh, yeah. Go ahead. Some of the times we we are kept more, more in the loop than even the contributors themselves. Like I, I've had Darkman and others like come to me going, "What's changed?" Because not even they know. <laughs> yeah, no. The lack of change log is yeah. really, really annoying. Yeah, they come to us to learn changes about the game because the internal communication in the staff team is um they honestly need like a manager, as you said. Like, I feel like it's just it's so mm, departmentalized. Like, yeah, 
uh, a community manager would do the one yeah, yeah. I feel like. I wish, <laughs> I, I wish they'd see the merit in why we're upset, but it's okay. I feel like uh, Vic would be a, <laughs> a great dude for that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna share my opinion on that. <laughs> In the little bit that I spoke to Vic, he seems all right. He seems like a cool guy. He's a uh, he's very chatty. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, uh, thank you so much, guys, for being here today. Yeah, the 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 very public legend Spacey and the very <laughs> hidden legend Tyler, both of them with uh, instant impacts on the game. You guys are thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you want to close us out, country? You just did. <laughs> I don't know what no. else there is. No, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta talk to your viewers, bro. It's your channel. Oh. <laughs> I just <laughs> send a and pip. If you want to promote don't one send social, us pipe join bombs. The server. Yeah. Send me the send me the link for his server. I can put it in the description. It's actually a um a custom link. Isn't it just Spezzy? Oh. Yeah, it's just Spezzy. Oh, okay. Yep. And this cool dot GG slash Spezzy. Join up. Oh, I just did it. All right, there you go. See, it's that simple. <laughs> Anybody can do it. <laughs> yeah. All right, time well, for an awkward uh... cut at the end of the video.